Now, the news that the government is threatening to withdraw funding from a Derby free school unless it makes radical improvements has fueled criticism of the whole idea of free schools. The Parliamentary Under Secretary of State for Schools has told the Al Medina Muslim School in Derby it must act swiftly to make changes and provide evidence that women and girls aren't being discriminated against. Lord Nash also wants a full list of staff and their qualifications and has set strict deadlines for information to be given. It comes after the school was closed for two days for health and safety reasons during an Ofsted inspection. Well, many parents at the Al Medina school have expressed support for it and the school itself says it will cooperate fully. It also says it's struggling to see how it's being treated in a comparable way with other schools and it's taking legal advice. But what does the row tell us about free schools themselves? We've spoken to one head teacher looking to open one in Nottingham who says they're still a good idea. But whether it's a free school or a maintained school or an academy, these uh, events happen, they come and go, and I think it's the longer term picture that parents are more concerned about. But in the short term though, hasn't it illustrated the lack of local scrutiny and the local uh, accountability? It has in that particular school, but the same could be applied to a number of schools nationally where perhaps standards aren't as they should be and that the local governing bodies haven't scrutinised what's been going on in the school and then you get this sort of shock outcome and it's just about moving on from that point. Is the Department for Education now going to be far more robust in how it handles applications to set up a free school? Definitely. I think Lord Nash has set a new agenda on this uh, particular area is scrutiny of all applications through his uh, civil servants is much greater. The criteria that you have to meet is much more rigorous and I think that making sure that the free schools aren't a risk factor any longer is high on their agenda. But in terms of accountability, should there be more local accountability rather than the accountability of a rather remote and distant department for education? Well, you've got your local governing bodies related to it, so they are the engine room of accountability and monitoring of the school. And they're made up of parents uh, and people who've got certain expertise that can offer that scrutiny to the work of the school and make the head teacher accountable to them. And that's robustly in place in all schools and it's just making sure they exercise their duties. Well, strong backing for the idea of free schools there. But Chris, you, you must be concerned about the situation at Almedina. Well, I'm concerned about Almedina, but I'm concerned about the free school uh, project in its entirety because I think it is an ill thought through notion and very much undermines state education. We've seen this government effectively privatising higher education Michael Gove seems to be on an ideological mission to do the same with secondary education. It pays no attention at all to the impact on schools in the area. Okay. We've got a situation where there are no planning regulations affecting uh, free schools. They can employ unqualified teachers. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Andrew, it doesn't look good, does it, for the whole idea of free schools, does it, with this uh, investigation uh, going on? I think what does look good for free schools is the fact that offset reports on into free schools are finding that 75% of them are getting a good or better grade, whereas in the average maintained school it's only 66%. So on the whole, free schools are popular with parents. Still um, very early days for lots of them. Yeah, yeah and, and off, off, offering parents choice, and choice drives up is quality. It, is it acceptable though, Andrew, to establish a free school in a former office block with a playground which is a, a corner of a car park with, with, with temporary for too, for too long, Labour labor have, labor, labor have concentrated all their efforts in education on, on, on building Buildings, no, not no, on not teaching all. techniques. No, That's no, why no, we're dropping down the league well, tables okay. every year, okay, every year, Chris. Is it okay then to have unqualified teachers? There are less unqualified teachers in the teaching system now than there were when your party well, were in so government. Let's go, let's go back so to this don't throw that there one at me. There are serious allegations of female students being discriminated against in favour of boys, teachers not registered, that we don't know what their background was. And this would not happen in the state system. And you know, we should cherish our, our state uh, Is this a case of too much freedom then? System. Uh, no, it's a case of Ofsted doing the job properly. Obviously, concerns are raised. They've gone in and they've shut the school temporarily. They're now it under the microscope and things will be done. We need to help them turn it round. Well, it didn't need to happen, though, Andrew. That, that's the point. And Ofsted, Do we need free Ofsted schools? has confirmed. I mean, all of us were educated at comprehensive But we had no choice, did we? we you know, our parents couldn't afford to send us to private education, so we went into the state in, system. In Derby, Ofsted have confirmed that there's been an exponential increase in quality education in the uh, council run schools in Derby. 
why parachute this free school into the centre because, of the city? Because, because over the last 13, 14 years, we've dropped down the, the international league tables on educational well, outcomes sorry, drastically no, under no, the last I, government. I'm sorry, Andrew. Well, despite the having, that we despite spoke to, though, said it's the, it's the parents that want them, so they're uh, making that choice, And that headmaster they? wanted it, didn't he? Yeah, well, he thought yes. they were a good thing. Yes. But the point is, it undermines the other schools in the area. And even if you get a, a free school that is excelling and doing extremely well, they top slice the money from the other uh, local authorities. Well, yes, they do, Andrew. Okay, exactly you know the that same allocation true. per pupil. But they take money away from the other schools, feed it into the free schools. That then undermines those other schools, and it just, it just you is know, it there top is slicing? No... What's happening? No, every pupil going to every school gets the same allocation of funding. So what would Labour do this, here? Would you get this, rid of all this, these free this, schools? This, this, Labour would stop you having you a just choice. Shut them all? This, it's not about choice. Look, what, what would what you people, do? Well, what people, what kids need. Is, is the choice to be able to access a decent, and parents, a decent education for their children. They need the Decide, choice. Decided by Christmas party. So what they would you do to, then? What would Labour the do? Choice. What we, would we, Labour we, do we, to well, give parents choice We would, choice we and would invest in the state system. Ah. Because the state system has worked, does work, demonstrably has worked. And, uh, it, you know, you look at the record in terms of uh, educational outcomes uh, and uh, exam results, huge improvement. But what we, what we need to do, though, to buttress that and back that up is make sure we're not only investing in education but we're investing in our economy to create the jobs that highly qualified young people can then go but into when they But back to Medina, school. it's not looking very good is it and in fact you know Ofsted it's possible that Ofsted will rule that the school is inadequate. And, and in that case it should be shut or, or major uh, well, changes inflict, made. But why inflict this then on Derby because, in the first because, place? Because, but there are, there are failing schools in the maintained system I and mean, Ofsted's job is to find them and sort it out and that's what they're doing. Okay well we'll have to leave it there now.